Hey YouTube, it's Austin. Uh, some of you know me already from other videos that I have posted on this channel from vlogging challenges that I've done in the last couple of years. Um, so I'm leaving some of those videos up. Uh, some of them I have taken down and put private just because there are a lot of me just babbling because that's what you do when you vlog. So uh, now I'm going to start a new series of babbling videos uh, that are all centered around my transition. For those of you that don't know me and haven't seen those other videos, hi, my name's Austin. Uh, I'm 26. I recently graduated from seminary with a master's degree in um, biblical studies, specializing in Old Testament slash Hebrew scriptures. So, you know, get at me if you've got questions about that stuff, I guess. Currently, I work at a theological publishing company, uh, which is pretty great. New job, new benefits, just getting started and getting into things there. So that's been really exciting. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, me. I, like so many others, have been helped by the trans guys on YouTube who have vlogged about their transition, and so I'm kind of hoping that I can put something out there that might be helpful and just sort of document how things are going, because of course the internet needs another white boy, right? So, uh, <laughs> I'll try to be aware of my privileges and, and my context and where I come from, uh, but I just wanted to sort of share my story with you guys. So I'm going to be creating some videos as we go along here about like how I got to this point um, and more about my story. This video specifically I'm creating because I have a doctor's appointment next Tuesday which is in two days. It's Sunday right now so this Tuesday um, and I'm really excited about it finally. I made this appointment about um, four weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago and up until this the last couple of days I have just felt like, oh, it's nice to have a doctor's appointment, but like I don't, I didn't want to get my hopes up, you know, I didn't want to, um, yeah, I guess I just didn't want to get excited about something and then get let down. So it's only been the last couple of days that I've gotten excited. So let me tell you about what's going on. I've been seeing my therapist for about a year and a half. She's awesome. And she agreed to write me a letter recommending me for um, HRT, Hormone Replacement Therapy. Um, so I am taking that letter to the doctor on Tuesday. I made an appointment with a doctor who specializes in, um, gender related things. Um, I think she's technically, uh, an OBGYN, but she specializes in lots of gender related stuff. She treats, um, transgender patients all, all the time. So that's really exciting. I've made an appointment with her. I'm going to go talk to her about getting on testosterone, getting on T and, uh, I'm just really excited to to take that step. So yeah, this is technically my two days before tea video, but you know, that's not a sure thing. I could walk into the doctor's office and she'd be like, no, I don't think you're ready for this. Cause they get to choose that kind of stuff. They can do that kind of stuff. Who knows? Uh, I could walk in and she could be like, yes, I'm totally down for prescribing you testosterone, but we have to do the full baseline workup of blood work and everything. So we're going to do that now and I'll see you in three weeks. You know, it could be that, uh, nobody knows. I could walk in, some guys have gone in and on their very first appointment, they've gotten a prescription and they've got the first shot. So that could happen too. We just don't know. Uh, so yeah, so I'm excited now. Um, kind of what put me over the edge uh, about being excited about this rather than just being like, don't get your hopes up. What got me over that was talking to a trans friend of mine and ex sort of uh, voicing my fears to him about, um, and my frustrations actually, it's more of a frustration about how people sometimes don't really believe that you're trans unless you're in a really bad place in your life because it's becoming more of a known thing now that trans um, youth and trans people are at a much higher risk for suicide and depression and lots of other things. Um, people now kind of expect that almost, which is awful to be like, no, you're not in enough pain to have to, to want to go through this stuff, you know, like you're not bad enough yet to actually need to start hormone therapy or whatever. And that's just, it's, it's not how things should be. Um, and so I was voicing that frustration to him and he said, that when he started um, medically transitioning a couple years ago, he felt such joy after he started hormones. He felt like things were coming together and he felt such joy about it and about his body that he had never felt before. And that joy sort of, he let that sort of radiate out to other people. And they started seeing how different it was to see him happy. And then they realized like what a giant gap there was between 
you know, happy dude versus what he'd been before. And that was what actually helped people to see him differently. And so what I need to do is not to smash down the excitement and not to be like, no, don't get your hopes up. What I need to do is let people see that excitement. I need to let people see how pumped I am about this and let people see how excited and happy I am. And hopefully that will be better, you know? Like, I generally have a hard time letting people into my um, inner thoughts and inner feelings because when you've lived your whole life feeling like there's this sort of thing that you can't tell anybody, um, it's hard to let people in. So, we just gotta let people in. We can't expect people to read our minds um, and we gotta let people in and explain to them not even explain. Sometimes we just have to live and just like let our living do the talking, you know? So anyways, that's what I'm pumped for. Doctor's appointment in two days and I'll keep you updated on what happens. Like I said, I'm going to make some videos about how I got to this point, but for right now, you're coming in at the middle of my story. So wish me luck and I will talk to you guys soon.